Hello. Welcome back to Dad Skills. Yeah, so welcome back to Dad Skills. And today we're going to take a look at something that the channel has been donated. And if you can't see what it is yet, it is a Clark MIG welder. But it's got a few issues. Let's take it outside and have a look, shall we? Ah! This is it. It's a Clark MIG 135TE Turbo. How cool, but as I say, it's got a few issues, nothing insurmountable. Um, I think these are quite expensive new, relatively, like 350 or something. So, first one is straightforward, it's out of gas. And the second one, he says it needs a new liner for the uh, wire to come through. So, I've been bought a few bits. So we've got a couple of liners. I've got the replacement swan neck liner. Wire, should we need it? Tips. Got a shroud as well. Should we need it? And it came with another box of bits. And when we found it, this box of bits was absolutely... You can see the watermark in there. Somehow it had been sat in a low area where the water came up. And it was absolutely soaked up there. So these were all sat in water. So I'll run a bit of footage now. I just put a load of coke in there, try and get the rust off, and I'm sure they'll be fine. So we've got a few extra bits in there, another new shroud, uh, tips. But first of all, we'll give her a little clean, and then we need to name it as well. I think there might be some gas left in there, should I? Because if it, if it feels heavy, what we're at. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. I'll put the new one on just so I know for sure. But I've got a great name for it. It's a Clark welder, and it's red, and we're in Kent. So it could only be one thing, couldn't it? And Superman. Got a bit of wire left on there. That's 0 0.6. So that's 0 0.6. But we'll put a new one on. Put a new tip on. But do I need to take apart the gun? I'm guessing so, so I might do that first, I think. Ooh, exciting. So there's the gas. Power. You press that and it works it. Then here's our liner. And it looks like one of those sort of covers of a brake cable for a bike, so the liner must actually go inside that. I wonder whether it's all right. I'm gonna put this back on. And I think I'm actually just gonna try it. Okay, I've plugged it in. It's on, so. Hear any gas coming through? Ah, there we go. There we go. Right, we've got some gas. Okay. Okay, now we need something metal. So, as you can see, I'm barely set up for this. I've got some kit, but <laughs> on a bit of wood. And yes, I know a bit of wood is flammable, but I'm just gonna test it out. So, I'm gonna turn it on. We've got our earth clamp. On there. Snip that off. We'll go through the settings in a minute. But, he used the welder and it was set up for welding 
old cars together, so the setting should be somewhere right, actually. Right. Okay, we are not feeding that wire through quick enough, I don't think. We're a bit high on the old settings there, I think. So we've gone minimum power two. Let's see what that's like, shall we? Not so bad. I'm just going to put the wire up a bit. Right, I'm going to put the wire up again. So that was fun. That was nice to uh, use a MIG welder again in anger. And this is what we ended up with. It's nowhere near pretty, but I think we show some promise there and thank God for uh, angle grinders. <laughs> there is a bit of a, uh, a background to this and that is because I'd really like to one day have a project car. So I've not used a MIG welder for years. It's probably 25 years now. Uh, since Dad and I got our first project car, Mark 1 Fiesta, um, it needed inner wings, outer wings, sills, rear arches, all that sort of stuff. So that was fun and that was my first car. So it'd be lovely to get one of those again. So that's cool, our first foray into MIG welding again after all these years. And there'll be a video coming up next that YouTube have recommended to you. But until next time, I'll catch you again. Cheers.